Hey you! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if it's your first time hanging out with me. So today I'm reviewing these Hello Hobby watercolor paints. I was so excited about them. I bumped them up in terms of my video, like I'm going to make this list that I have going on because I was so excited. I like came up with multiple ideas. And, um, Look at them, they're hexagons. They are so stinking cute. And uh, I got them at Walmart. They were eight bucks and, and I thought I can make, I can make quite a few videos out of these. Ah, negative point. I broke the case right there. It dies later um, in the scheme of my life where my dog <laughs> knocked it off of a table. So I don't even think that I can like use it as a palette once these colors are gone. This brush that it comes with, this brush is probably the nicest thing <laughs> about this set. I didn't use it in this video because I wanted to use something familiar. I, I just wasn't feeling that great and I didn't want to try new on new on new. It's a decent watercolor brush. Uh, it's like any other water brush that I've used. So I start swatching and these guys are weird. Even though I have like footage of me swatching the whole whole set from the left to the right in the long rows down, I just show these guys because if you look at the colors, it's arranged weird. And it wasn't until I swatched all of them that I figured out that um it it's set up differently than how I inherently start to go with watercolor paints. Okay, so if you take it and you turn it this way, and you go, instead of the long rows, you go the short rows, you go, woot, 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 it makes sense. And so I did a second set of swatch where the colors more, make more sense and you can see them. I normally do two swatch sets, one to see if they stain and one for color reference. And uh, I didn't show the process of either one because uh, <laughs> through the process, my plans changed after interacting with these. Oh, this guy split. It separated into two colors. There are watercolors out there that are specifically designed to do that in an expensive luxury watercolor set. I am guarantee you that that's not what's happening in here. They are separating in, in sadness. I got a blue and then I got a magenta color and you can see it as I, I tilt it. It's so much more visible in life. Okay, so I got these guys at Walmart. Uh... uh <laughs> They aren't as chalky as the ones that I got from Five and Below, and so I thought this was a good thing, but, like, I'm not gonna lie, I, I don't think that these are a success, and as you go on the video, you'll see why I'm like, don't spend your money on them, they're not worth it. The case breaks, the watercolors, you'll... Ugh spend your money on something else is my honest review and I didn't think it was gonna be that way so I I had all these images going through my brain and I sketch out this queen bee and I sketch the hive and the worker bees in the background and this is where I'm like oh I need to split these items apart and I'm gonna make a YouTube short video or a TikTok I don't know and I'm going to do the little queen bee and then, then I'm going to do like a cute thing with flowers on the bottom of the bees and the bees are going to be different colors for the pollen and it's going to and then I'm going to do one with my frog where I talk about how I rate these watercolors in terms of other inexpensive watercolors that I have because I'm doing this sort of side quest in my life where I search for good cheap art supplies uh every back to school season but this year i am like pedal the metal i'm gonna get my hands on all of them and i'm gonna try them out and i'm gonna sort of have like a mini tournament of champion and <laughs> ship i don't know if that's actually coming through in the videos it's definitely not gonna happen with this paint because it's a no buy don't buy these paints while armor walmart has some good art supplies some good quality stuff these guys are not 
it. And when I talked to the internet about it, they were like, they're called hobby. They're, they're not fine art. You don't make good art, like true fine arts with these watercolors. They're for kids. Dude, I wouldn't even give these to kids. Just walk by them. Say no to the hello hobby. Um, okay, so this was going to be my YouTube short my my little short i i think that it comes out to be a really just sweet spot illustration um i am doing that sort of like <sighs> splattery painting <laughs> in the background or, or trying to recreate it i i'm too much of a control freak to to just like wing paint at my uh I just canvas I can't do it and I slow the painting video down of it uh because at this point in time I I knew that I wasn't going to do what I intended with the video to make it a short and have that little like end piece where I pull out the last shot where it's just the picture of the illustration so I slow it down oh I pull in a Posca marker so the white in this paint is junk it's just, it's junk it you you can't see it i tested it out on a side thing in between takes and so it won't even cover up a black line it won't cover over its own paints so i pulled out the posca marker he, the posca marker lives in my pencil case you know this is my art who says that I have to be a watercolor purist? I already have pen and ink lines going on, you know. And I think that it, it helped it make it better. And so here I'm doing my second painting. I had an idea for another painting that I was going to use for another video. And uh, so I'm doing the bees different colors to like represent the flowers they're getting the pollen from and I was going to do the flowers in the bottom I totally should have done the background first but I was so excited about this painting and these paints and like um, my artist brain just like went wrong <laughs> and I didn't even remember to do things in order I was that excited and pumped and um <sighs> So, it hasn't happened yet. The next shot, I think, is the picture of where the paint cracks. Yeah, the paint cracks. I went to the internet and they said that uh, it could be two things. It could be that I put it on too heavily, which I don't think is the case because I've done this style of painting before and I've never had this happen. And the other thing that the internet said um to me was that it could be the binder failing in the paints and that's honestly what I was thinking and that's why I'm like don't buy these paints they are thumbs down negative art points just zero on a one to ten scale and so like I was really into this idea I really liked how this painting was going and I uh thought that maybe I could go and save it after it was done so I'm like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna put some effort into this paint I'm gonna take out the flowers I'm not gonna go back and paint the background around all these little paint splatters which I could do which would be kind of silly but if the paint hadn't failed or let me down I would have done it because I was really vibing I just think this is they're like sushi furry bee fluff balls of goodness and so I I'm lifting it back out to get details and I think it's it's cute and uh so what I end up doing after I paint these guys is I hit them with workable fixative and I sprayed the snot out of it to hopefully keep it from chipping off further. If you want to see how it holds up in the sketchbook that I've done, let me know in the comments and I can go visit back in three months or six months or whatever. But uh, Workable Fixative has always been a good product for me. Uh, 
I, I don't know what to say about that. But we can see that's what it did. It chipped. And it didn't just chip on all of the little bee splatters chipped on this painting. They all did it in one place or another. This was the one that irked me the most. So uh, I showed it. This is where it's cracking and it's coming up. And I was so sad about this. Um, it also did it on my swatches. And this is, you can tell this swatch is one of the ones where I'm testing to see how it stains the paper to see how light you can pull it back up. And I have painted swatches like I painted those swatches a billion times. It wasn't too thick. It's just failing. So like, subscribe, come see me next time. Hopefully it won't fail. Bye.